Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to recover your SonarCube admin password. Let's say that you have set up your SonarCube, but you don't remember your SonarCube admin password. So how do you recover that? That's exactly what we are going to learn in this short video. So let's quickly go over the prerequisites. So let's say you have already set up your SonarCube using Docker or Docker Compose, and then you are using uh, PostgreSQL as a database, which is actually running inside the Docker container. Okay, so that is a prerequisite. So if you if you see here, I already have my SonarCube up and running, my SonarCube instance up and running. So this is my SonarCube uh, instance. And if you see here, I'm not able to log in into SonarCube because I don't remember my admin password. And then the way I have set up SonarCube is by following instructions in my website. And I have configured SonarCube using Docker Compose. And uh, if you look at the Docker Compose file, we are using two different uh, container. This is for SonarCube. And then I'm using PostgreSQL as the database. Right? So this is the configuration for my SonarCube. So we will come back to it. Okay. And then the way we are going to recover uh, the SonarCube admin password is uh, by following all these steps. So we will be logging inside the PostgreSQL Docker container. And then we will connect into PostgreSQL database using psql command. And then we will execute one update query, which is provided by SonarCube documentation itself. I also have that link over here, you see here. So this is the query which will reset the SonarCube admin password to the default admin password. So the default admin password also admin. The username is admin and then password also, the default password also is admin only. So we will execute this query inside PostgreSQL uh, Docker container. And then after that, we will log in into SonarCube UI uh, with the default uh, admin password and then it will immediately ask you to change the default admin password, right? So these are the things what we are going to do. Awesome, so let's get started. So guys, this is my website, coachdevops.com. I will be posting the link right below the video as well. So as I clearly mentioned that I did set up SonarCube using Docker Compose. So you can also click on this link as well. Uh, this is already there in my website. I also have a video as well. Let's say you have set up your SonarCube by following these commands and uh, you're not able to recover your admin password. So how do you how do you solve that problem? That's exactly what we are going to do, right? And then like I said, uh, you know, the database is PostgreSQL. In fact, the same uh, query also will work in Microsoft SQL Server as well, but the scope of this video is just PostgreSQL only. Okay, awesome. So let's kickstart the lab. The first step would be we need to log in into PostgreSQL Docker container. So I'm going to connect to my EC2 instance. So I'm already connected to my EC2 instance. So if you execute this command, docker ps. So this talks about uh, how many Docker containers currently running. So as you can see here, there are two Docker containers. So one of the container name is called SonarCube LTS community. And then this is the database, right? So if you see here, what is the configuration for this? So like I said, I have followed these, these instruction, right? So this is my Docker Compose file. So as you can see here, um, the SonarCube UI is going to connect to PostgreSQL using this username and this password. And then this is the database schema. Okay, so this is the database schema, right? And that is exactly what, what we have mentioned over here. Okay, so so the PostgreSQL uh, is running um, on this database. So this is our schema name, SonarCube schema name, and then the username and then password. Okay. Okay, so now what we have to do, we need to log in into the Docker container, right? So we need to connect to PostgreSQL Docker container. For that, you can execute this command sudo docker exe minus it, and then you're going to mention the container name. 
and then slash bin slash bash enter. So now I am actually inside the PostgreSQL database container. Perfect. The next step would be we need to log in into uh, PostgreSQL database. So how do you do that? For that, we are going to use psql command. Uh, so psql and then you are going to say we can copy the command from here. That's not a problem. Look at that. So the port number is this, right? Minus P port number is 5432. Uh, that is the default port number for uh, PostgreSQL. And then you're going to say minus U. Uh, that is nothing but the username. So you can see the username over here, which is uh, Sonar. And that is nothing but this one, right? So this is the username. Okay. And this is the schema name. Sonar. And then we are going to say minus H. Minus H is nothing but the host. Uh, so you can mention the container ID itself. That's fine. And then we need to mention the schema name. The schema name is uh, called minus D, right? Min that's a database name or the schema name. Okay. Okay. So that's it. So this is the port number. This is the username. This is the host name. I think we need to give space. Let me give space over there. And then this is the schema name. Perfect. So let's execute that. Now it is immediately asking for the password for the sonar user. Uh, that is actually mentioned here, right? Password 123. So again, if you have a different configuration, different username and password, you can go ahead and then, you know, uh, change these query, right? So in my case, the password is admin123. Sorry, password123. Perfect. So now I'm logged in inside PostgreSQL database. Perfect. So everything is good. So now what we have to do, we need to execute one update query, which we got it directly from the SonarCube website. And this will actually work. So you can copy this query. So basically what this will do is uh, this will reset to a default admin password, which is nothing but the admin, right? So let's copy that command. Or of course, you can also copy from my website itself. That's, that's not a problem. Let's go ahead and then execute that uh, query and then enter. There you go. You see here? So this is the key. This means that the update query has been successfully executed, right? So perfect. So now this, this is looking good. So now let's go into uh, SonarCube UI. I'm going to click on refresh. Okay, and uh, that's the admin username and then the default password is admin only. So I'm also typing admin or lowercase, click on login. Wow, there you go. You see here now, now it is asking us to change uh, the default admin password. So now we are able to log in into SonarCube, right? Uh, so, so now let's go ahead and then I enter the old password and then I'm going to set up some new password. Now click on update. Wow. You see here now, guys? Now we are able to log in into SonarCube UI. And we are able to log in using a default admin password. And then the moment you enter your default admin password, it is immediately asking you to change the default admin password. Right? So this is how, guys, you know, you can recover. So let me go back over here. Let me make sure I come out of this one. Type exit. Uh, and then type exit again to come to come back into uh, SonarCube EC2 instance, right? So this is how, guys, you know, this is how you can change your SonarCube admin password. Or this is how you can recover your SonarCube admin password. Thank you for watching this video, folks.